Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Alan Wake 2. Um, I turned on ray tracing. We'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully my computer can handle it. I actually turned up the graphics just a little bit, because I was, I was editing the last video, and I was like, why does it look kind of bad? So maybe it'll look a bit better, I don't know. The thing is, is that it, it always takes more resources to record these games than to just play them straight up. So, you know, this is where we came from, right? Uh, the last thing I want is for the recording to get all goofed up and lag out. Anyway, how are y'all doing? I don't actually care. All right, let's go inside the train. Oh, it's, not, it's not that I don't care. It's just you're in the future right now, so. It's not like we can actually have a conversation. The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. <laughs> led you on? How did it deceive you? <laughs> wait, 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 we gotta get, uh... Oh, okay, so the I gotta get light. Yeah. I needed to find a light for it. Okay, so we need to go back that way. Scratch. Initiation. Collapse Another place tunnel. to use in the story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. I gotta find inspiration here. You found a new scene. Go to the plot board to rewrite reality in the collapsed tunnel. All the right. The new story beat fit the story perfectly. Select the new scene. Press A. Start rewriting it. Okay. This is where the agent's trail went cold. A ghost. Okay, so there's something over here. The blood trail disappeared under the rubble. Oh. I had a feeling something was waiting there. Can I? Is it? No? Oh, is it? Is it like right here? It's bad luck to be on this case. The cold can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. It's bad luck to get involved. <sighs> hey, the cult. Watch out. All right, do we go this way? I guess we're on this side here. It says Cult of the Word. Wait, is... Can I take the... Oh, I can take the light here. Another echo lingered here. Sick. A source of inspiration. Cult of the Word, does that mean... When I see that, does that mean that, that one of those um, circles are there? Because if so, I might want to go get it. I think, I think earlier I might have left one of those behind, accidentally. Here, look. Because we gotta be on the lookout for these. See, so it says, Cult of the Word. Now... No, I, I guess there's really... Nothing I can do. Okay. Because I want to look out for those circles. I think I had one earlier that I did, and then I died, and then I don't know if I still have it or not. I don't think I do. That's okay. Here we go. Help me, ma'am. Word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. The Wake was even involved somehow under a false identity. Mr. Scratch. Which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. But I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. It was disturbing finding- here, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Word of lamp found. <laughs> I love lamp. Yeah, see, I, I missed- I missed this one earlier. Yeah, 20% harder for enemies to detect. Yeah, I don't have that. I guess I'll have to go back and get that at some point. Um, restores 50 health for each second when using flashlight boost on hostile shadows. 
Well, how much is 50 health? So just like a little, little baby bit? Or what? 10% chance to stun enemies on flashlight boosts. 25% chance to regain a flashlight charge killing an enemy. Uh, well, I haven't really wanted for flashlight charges, so I don't think I'll be getting that. Healing... You know, yeah, because there have been times when I've when I've realized that I'm a little uh, a little low on health around here. The one time I've died, it's because I kind of just let it happen. See now, okay, we could. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna go back. I'm sorry to do this. I know it's so annoying. Oh no, I can't go back. There was that tunnel back there, but I can't get to it, huh? Oh well, that's fine. Ow off. What's it gonna have in it? Like some shotgun shells? Ooh. Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? Better say I'm sorry. I wasn't I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it or not. Yeah. <laughs> Kicked your ass. <laughs> Wait. Oh, fuck! I didn't know he was there. Got a headshot there. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Hang on. Every time... Every time you restart the game, I have to turn on Do Not Disturb so that the... Achievement notifications don't pop up. They're so obnoxious. Like, seriously? I mean... Uh, anyway. Oh, we're back in the collapsed tunnel. Oh, that means I can go back. Okay, let's go back. Cause there was a there was a tunnel off to the side that I could yeah it's this one yeah let's do that thanks Epic Games for sponsoring gone. this video just kidding the way forward was open <laughs> not just kidding about thanks but just kidding about this video is not sponsored the first one was but this is the fourth one so. No, I'm still thankful that I had a sponsored video. That was pretty sick. Had a great hey, time doing that. Alan. What? Tim Breaker. In case you don't remember again. How did you get down Tim, here? I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. So, uh, how are you down here? How'd you beat me down here? How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in. Putting a lot of roadblocks in my way. You think this is a dream? <laughs> so you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. They feel real until the second I wake up. You know, in the dreams, I'm often someone else. A different person with a different name living a different life in, in a different world. Okay. Alternate realities, maybe. But certain things don't change. Like door. Hmm, the sketch looks familiar. The sketch you have does look like the door I know. The talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me. And he knows that I know. But does he know that I know? Sadistic mastermind torturing me. Interesting. Now you've written something in red here. I notice. What is this? A dream? Feels like it. Not real. No place. Every place. All places. Any place. Now New York. Not NYC. A way to other places. A nexus. Is door the gatekeeper or trying to get somewhere? Everywhere. Door, gate, portal, port, opening access, window. You're just writing anything down here, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I guess he's like... 
Can I get this, please? Thank you. I guess he's like Rod Serling from the Twilight Zone. He's like kind of a host, I'm guessing, for uh, the Dark Place. Or maybe he's the Dark Presence itself. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to take this stuff. What is this? You got anything in here? You got a power strip there. Power strip is not plugged in. Kind of nullifies the point of the power strip to not plug it in. Because then it can't really do anything. Is there really nothing else here? He keep, like remember last time I saw him, he was like, "Oh, if you if you see anything here you like, you just go ahead and take it." But then there's never anything in here. Like thanks, Sean Ashmore, but not very helpful. Okay, look at all this stuff. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey, hey. Aha. Aha. Okay, so we can get some healing if we want to. But, uh, yeah, we're good. Alan, wake. Yeah. Just kind of wanted to do that. Oh, there's nothing down here. I thought maybe I could go. No. Okay, we gotta get those headshots. That helps save a lot of ammo doing that. Duh. Has John never played a video game before? Yes, getting a headshot does more damage. It's like video game 101. I've known that since I was two years old. What is he, an idiot? Okay, let's save. I, I really just, I don't see the point of the shoebox. How, how would you have this much loot? Oh. Didn't we see this outside? I'm pretty sure we saw this outside. Am I am I wrong? I love the confidence uh, of just already knowing the rules of the nightmare world. <laughs> They're always so con in the, in these video games that have this like psychological horror aspect of these dream sequences. The characters are always so confident the train that they figured it out. Forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. They they act like they they act like they know the rules, you know. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Ooh, scary. Okay, so there's. I mean, there's an arrow. I don't really. But the arrow's not really leading anywhere that I can see. Ooh, there's some ammo right here. Dang. Oh, Jesus! What what a trap, dude! Let's see if I can just go through. Oh. Anyway, yeah. They they always they always get out on a plot board. They always get to this like the limit doesn't exist. The limit doesn't exist moment. Or they're just like, I figured out how it works. And it's kind of like, are you, are you really this sure that there's a method to the madness? Because there might not story. be. What is this? Oh, so I, I decide? Missing FBI agent. The agent had come here looking for the cult for trouble. The cult used fire to claim dominion over the tunnels. Story was affecting the scene. 
Right, but then can I go back and change it back? You can. Let me see. How does it change it? Okay. Wow, that's cool. Hello? Anyone there? Dead. That's interesting that you can do that. Something terrifying happened here is what it says. Now... Yeah, let's just, let's just leave it like this, I guess. So this is what it meant by non-linear. Oh, shit! He did like a ranged attack! Now, if I go to the plot board, and I change it to murder call, does it let me go in? It does. Okay. Looks like there's some orbs in here. Right here? Gotta look at the right angle. Is it like this? Yeah. This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, douse it in gasoline. Yeah. That, that sucks. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnels searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I'd found. Okay, wait, can I go through here? Oh, oh. Gotta get loot. Oh, big ass first aid kit. It could yep. not be opened on the side. All right, are you okay? I found would drive the story forward. Torch bearers. The way forward through the bowels of the burnt carcass. Carcass, one of my favorite words. Cark ass. A twisted story. But it worked. Okay, right. Um Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think riders were particularly useful people. That is not wrong. And a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. <laughs> It wasn't even clear what the man had done except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patient with the fed, the patience with the fed was running out. By the way, if you're a fan of this, um, if you're a fan of uh, this style, I guess. The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. Then I would suggest... Oh no, it's the torchbearers. Right. They burnt everybody to a crisp in here. Then I would suggest watching Twin Peaks, really. It's hit or miss. There was some uh, production turmoil, especially in season two, when David Lynch left and then came back, the director, yeah, but... Real. It is worth it. It is worth it, and it's it's not that much of a time investment, honestly. Fuck me. However, I would say um, I haven't watched season three because they made the first. So they made the first two seasons of Twin Peaks like in the '90s, I think, early '90s, late '80s, even. I'm not really exactly sure. But uh, then the show got canceled. Then there was a movie called Firewalk with me. And then it came back, I think, in 2017, 2018, with season three. And I heard really mixed reviews, and so I never checked it out. Because, like, I kind of like how season two ends all, like, crazy, where you're just like, what the fuck am I watching? Um, 
and I didn't really want that to be ruined by watching season three. So, you know, I don't know if I'm wrong. If you guys are out there, any, any Twin Peaks season three enjoyers out there, feel free to tell me I'm wrong. But yeah, Twin Peaks has been a very influential um, series. Influenced Alan Wake pretty, pretty obviously. Influenced uh, a lot of inferior media as well. You know, Life is Strange, for example, is very influenced by Twin Peaks. The good parts of it. Wake. Bro, if you guys want to fight, we can we can make that happen. Um, Rusty Lake is a great game series, and that's very much inspired by Alan Wake. Or, sorry, uh, uh, Twin Peaks, not Alan Wake. Well, it might be inspired a little bit by Alan Wake, too. The first game came out in 2010. I can't remember exactly when Cube Escape... The first Cube Escape My came out. was blocked. I had to find a way through. The Hunted. lights would help me. The lights would help me. Okay, let's let's try it, bro. Oh, wow. I feel like this is going to be like a part, you know? This next, this next... This next sequence is going to be a memorable, memorable one, I think. It just has that aura to it. Now... Okay. Do I want to put the light back? Kind of feels like it. No. I, then I'm I'm a little I'm a little confused about where I was supposed to go. Okay. Wait. Do you go in here? Does this open? Oh, I see. That's how you get to the other side. Got it. Dude, I am telling you. I am telling you that Bloober Team, the Layers of Fear developers, are playing this game right now, and they are doing a bunch of this. They're doing a bunch of like, damn it, when we think of that? They're seriously, this is like, this is the game that Bloober Team desperately has wanted to make. I'm telling you, it has, it has all the bells and whistles of a Bloober Team game, but it's better. <laughs> Just imagine it being in like first person and there's like a voice in the in the background that's like it's all your fault, 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 fault. And then, then that's basically what they would do. You kill them, you kill them, you kill them, you kill them. Uh, maybe maybe add like a baby crying in the background. And there you've got the Bloober Team version. Ow! Uh, stuff it. You know what? I've decided. You talk to me, you die. Wait, can I not go this way? The city was not real. I was limited to the confines of the dream. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I go this way. Wait. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. You wanna die, huh? You wanna die? Oh! Okay. Yeah, how you like that? Three headshots. Bitch. <laughs> It's all right, dude. Look at look at how much healing you have. That's crazy. You're a tank, dude. You're basically John Wick. John Wake, if you will. Oh, sorry. Am I supposed to? Okay. Somebody right here. I'll kill you. He, he like dodged it. 
He's oh, awake. Oh, I'm gone. We'll see you. I'm out of here. Dickhead. All right. I'm going this way. Alan, Alan Wake. Alan Wake. Don't you guys have anything better to do? They just, they really just like, they really just stand around and say, Alan Wake. Help keep your subway clean. Oh, I'm trying to. The echoing hall had a story to tell. Oh, you want to come? You want to come over here? I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I am liking that I'm getting like a little more loot in the subway area. The up above in the street level, there's like nothing though, which is disappointing. Irritating. Okay. I had found here we another go. compelling location to use. Right, and we've got three different. Um, plots to give it abandoned station the cult's madness is revealed here well let's just go straight to murder cult this is where the cult waited for the time to strike wait do we really want to do that are we gonna get ambushed torchbearer's secrets were not safe from the cult the agent witnessed the cult's depravity and ran let's go mur murder cult mortar cult sorry the hole had changed into the murder cult's hideout oh the cultists were close now, a dark presence rising from the depths. Rider, the first word, not the last, and the shadow I open. This is your time. Ritual friends will meet. The Rider. Not of the last. I wonder if you can put these together to form sentences. Yeah, it looks like you can, actually. It's actually easier... It's actually easier to see without doing the text thing. Not the writer. Oh, but no. Okay, these aren't the same page. They're different pages. When you're gone, it says. Huh. Now. Okay, we got to look at it from the right angle. Probably, honestly, probably out here. Yeah. May you choke on these words. Right here. The Fed had witnessed something here that made him run scared. Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story. The key to reaching the murder site. Complete the ritual in the collapsed tunnel. Alex Casey, right? Um. A new beat for the story. Let's go back to the collapsed tunnel, and we want to use the summoning ritual, right? Can I do that from here? You can only re rewrite reality and scene you're currently in. Okay. I couldn't add ah, a new element from here. That's fine. To to scene. Let's go to Torchbearers. Let's see what, what's happening here, though. That's cool. You know, I haven't really commented on it much. But it's kind of neat that, like, for each of these scenes, they created basically, you know, three or four different environments. I've seen stuff like this before, but not done quite like this. You know, similar, but not... Yeah, I'll kill you. Don't talk to me, I'll kill you. You know what? Maybe I'll just kill you anyway. <laughs> Dickhead. Oh, I'm drowning. Well, we can only hope. Ah. Who said we hadn't gotten any good news lately? Let's do missing FBI agent. Okay, now if we do missing FBI agent, we actually... No, we can't, we can still go back, okay. Oh, shut up. This is actually very similar to the Torchbearer one. The Murder Cult one was the one that had the progression enabling... stuff that we needed. Um... 
Yeah, let's just go back, I guess. We got we got to go back to the collapsed tunnel. Wake. Oh, shut up. Yeah, hi, it's me. Oh, should I take this? Oh, did I give it? Well, I can take it, right? Now I've got light with me. I've got two lights with me, I think. Just in case we wanted to do anything, like, fun. I've got to get back to the collapsed tunnel. Oh, wait. Oh. I think we're just... Are we, are we going there right now? Where am I? Um... Oh wait, are we up here? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm up here. Okay. Wake. Yeah. Wow, it's a lot of these guys, huh? Take one of those, thanks. Jeez. Okay, well we can't go back that way anyway. Ooh. I think they were maybe after me there. Do we go up? Oh yeah, yeah, we go up to go back to the collapsed tunnel. Oh, that was kind of... Did you hear, like, those footsteps? Okay, can I do it here? Oh. No. Oh, I kind of forgot where... Oh, it's, it's on the plot board, right? Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. Well, I thought... I, okay, wait. Am I not... Am I not in the right area? Oh, it, okay, here. We're going back to it, though. Derailed train torch bearers, right? So we're back at the derailed train. We're trying to make our way back to the collapsed tunnel. Oh. Wait, have I gone down here? Oh, this is like a place to save. Hell yeah, okay. I quick saved. Maybe down here. Wake. I already killed you. You know what? I don't wanna have to kill you again. I'm just gonna go this way. Apparently you don't die, you just you come back. Oh. Wait, is Sean Ashmore just humming up here? Hi. He doesn't, he doesn't say anything this time. Okay. Yeah, you're kind of creepy, dude. Maybe you're Mr. Door. You know? You ever think of that? Oh, I can take a third one? Oh my gosh, I've got three of them. So, okay, so now we're at the collapsed tunnel. And now... We can do the summoning ritual. Enter the unblocked tunnel. Was this it? This this one over here? I assume this this is it. Well that sucked. safe room.
Okay. We've I done it. I hear the dark presence. It was gone. Good. Or should I call you Mr. Door? If that even is your real name. Um. Well, now what? Excuse me. Sorry. Is there a way to enter the unblocked tunnel? Okay, so we go back and try to go through it again, I guess. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. Well, I mean, in theory, that's what we thought last time. Just go. Just run. I assume we don't try to fight it. He keeps looking behind him. You're making me nervous, bro. The dark presence. I had seen it before. What was that? Did you see the bag? I remembered now. It was always out there. Hunting me. So... So you did this for like 13 years? Is that what you're saying? Or does time, time pass differently? It must. You can't just sustain yourself off of coffee thermoses. Surely not. Oh my god. Hello? Let's, uh, oh, is that, is that Nightingale? Victim's heart was the key. Something had shifted. I felt an overwhelming closeness to home. An FBI agent? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? She can hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. Help me get you. This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Mount Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please. Help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. Don't worry, we won't be here for this part. Ow! We'll just strategically position ourselves there. I keep, I keep, I keep thinking that there's gonna be like a cutscene or something, and then there's just not. <sighs> now, apparently, something I didn't know. Let me see this. There's like, there's like a nudity filter or something like that. Is it like under interface? Oh, it's a, <laughs> this option can only be changed in the main menu. I was about to say, I'd like to turn it back on and then turn around. Who was writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. Okay. I'm, I'm glad we could establish that. By the way, I have three light bulbs, my little light bulb rod. Isn't that cool? We should go try to use it. All right. It's okay, we got it, we got it. Stepping to the murder site, I felt it. Stepping to the murder site, I felt it hanging in the air. 
the meaning, the violent emotion of the act, like a cloud of wrath, the dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. Regression to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. Thanks, buddy. For the enlightenment. I kind of zoned out, to be honest. <laughs> no offense, Alex Casey, but, uh... You're not exactly, uh, enrapturing to listen to. When he starts talking, I'm not gonna lie, I just kind of fall asleep. Great to fall asleep to, this guy. Uh, we take, we take those, we take those. Oh, a flare! I actually really like the flares. Um... I'm gonna quick slot this actually. Uh, we'll do it. Uh, you know, I would love to get another gun. No offense to the revolver. Like, it's fine, I guess, but I'm thinking like a shotgun. You know, Saga has a shotgun. So. I'm not saying you have to have a shotgun. The station Alan, had changed. But I was closer now. Closer to what? Closer to closer to what? <laughs> I have four now. That's crazy. I'm a writer. I write. I'm a writer. The key. Art is the key to find my way out of the dark place. I can't forget this. Don't you fucking forget this. Wow. I'm outside time and space, outside reality. But this is real. A nightmare dimension, an ocean of darkness. It, remember, it's dark energy can make art come true, make dreams and nightmares come true. Yes, I can use this. I need to use this. Hungry, monstrous things. Up there, they stop me. They devour me. Become me. Oh no. Yeah. It's very angsty, isn't he? Alright. Well, you know, it's been great. Um, oh, look, it literally is like the dark place. Hey, just in case you didn't know where you were. Oh, by Alice Wake. Opening soon. Thanks, Alice. <sighs> what happened to Alice? <laughs> Probably should have replayed Alan Wake 1 before this. But even, I, I'm not sure how much that our would even help, home. actually. Our home in New York. Was I really oh, it's this, this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? So, somehow I doubt it. an echo of the real thing? I, I think you'll even be disappointed. Even the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. I think you'll find the answer's no. Okay. Um, you know, let's check the map, actually. I'm curious about something. The, wait, the light bulb's inactive? Oh, oh, right, because I turned it off. So there's a, wait, there's a light here. That's the car right there. So that light's inactive. There's an echo there. I guess I missed it? Um. That's the room that Sean Ashmore's in. There's a point of interest over there. See, I've got, I've got all these lights, but I don't know if there's like a good place like i guess i could use it right here and go back up there and maybe try to explore some of this real quick before we go on to parliament tower or i could just go straight to parliament tower it just says get to the apartment upon but maybe you know what maybe we check in um with sean i don't know what's his name what's the guy's name Like he, I, I just call him Sean Ashmore because that's the the actor's name, but the police officer is it deputy. Is it deputy? Is he the deputy? I can't remember. See, like, okay, where am I right now? So I'm 
heading back that way. Durant Street. I wonder if I can go this way. Oh, no. The... Yeah, it's all blocked off, actually. I don't think I can go anywhere. I, I think I have to go up the ladder. Excuse me. Watch there be nothing over here. I'm just wasting my time. Yeah. Who the fuck said you could talk to me, huh? I, I love doing that. It's really funny. Fuck you. Oh, hey. Why, it's empty. Okay, well, there's a ladder here. We're never out of your way. Okay. So I'm up here now. Does it... Oh. Oh, here. It's like right here. Rain tried to wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> but some sins... The evidence of the crimes committed could never be erased. Not by the rain or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. Dr. Jack there remains Daniels. bruises under my skin like tattoos. Bruises in my soul. Scar tissue on my heart. The rain never stopped falling. Right. And I never stopped drinking. Okay, so I just came up there for like a little scene like that. Is that right? You are a character in my story. No, 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 no. I think you've got it backwards. You know what? Die. Uh, I thought it was funny to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna get you too. I'm gonna get you too. I got battery for all of you. I got a battery to take you all down. I guess, um, <laughs> guess we can't get past these little outdoor units over here. Oh, boy, jeez. Okay, so this actually isn't where, um, Sean Ashmore's character is. I believe it's, well, we'll look at all these guys. There's too many of them. Okay. We got those guys out of the way. I want to see if we get any other info out of him by coming up here. Curious. Or if he's just humming and then he just says, what, what is it that you want? Can I have some of your pizza? Oh, it's moldy, I think. It looked moldy anyway. See, now this. I mean, I guess, I guess we have this information, you know? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. Just wanted to go through here again, make sure that we caught everything. Let's see if I can just slip past. He's, he's wasting all of his flashlight. Yeah, well. I had a ton of it. Oh, see? I'm glad I came over here for some loot. Not much of it, but enough to make the trip worth it, I would say. Okay, we're back here. With the with the police car. Now I I feel like I don't know. There's where am I right here? So there's a point of interest right there. But like 
there's apparently something over here. I don't know. And then there's an echo. Am I looking at the right area? Maybe it's... Is it... Is it right here? Can I give the lights back to this? You actually can't. Oh, no, you can. Oh, no, you can, but then you can't go through here. And this is where all this stuff is. There's something, there's like a question mark over here, but I don't know how to get to it. Like, what? Where? I don't know, man. All right. You know, you want to know another thing that I find interesting? I feel like this, this, this whole like aesthetic and stuff, it feels very like Silent Hills inspired as well. And I think that's really interesting. Don't do it. So a couple of these guys, yeah. Let's see if we can get. Let's see if we can get around this guy without him doing anything. Okay, yeah, he's fading away. All right, let's go through here now. Through all the now you die signs. Look, it's acting like there's something over here. Did, did I? Yeah, yeah. You guys are gonna wanna back out. That's what I thought. Yeah. I yeah, they're always saying that they drowned. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is what we wanted. Word of gun found. That's funny. Okay, so that's what we found. That's cool. We found something. You know? Um. Now, where is that? Here? Oh, it's here. Words of power. Word of gun. Let's check it out. Uh, 5% chance to not consume ammo when firing the revolver. That's a 1 out of 20 chance. That sucks. Increased knockback force by 15%. Of Allen's shotgun? Where? Increases flare gun projectile area by 25%. Um... You know, I don't have the shotgun. I've only got one... I've got one flare, I don't even have the flare gun, so I guess we'll have to take this. Ugh, I hate doing that though. Like, thanks, I guess. All right, you guys ready to go into uh, Parliament Tower or whatever? Let's go down this street first, because I think there might be one of those um, circles over here. I'd love to get that. Shut it. Shut up. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa! Yeesh, dude. Okay, okay. Oh, this is the one- this is the one that I- that I got earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Now, what did I get? Oh, it's 20% harder to detect? Eh. I mean, 10% damage. They go down like three shots. 10% damage is gonna do like nothing to us. So yeah, I think making us hard to detect is the way to go. All right, I've done it, and now it is uh, time to go into the tower because I've kind of used up a bunch of resources. Um, but yeah, we got a couple of those. There's apparently there's like some more over here that we could have gotten, but I don't know. Um, you yeah, know, it's fine. I mean, I like the upgrades, but I'm not trying to hundred percent this. All right, let's go. Oh, sorry, I gotta get my flashlight on, right? Writer, writer, writer. 
Maybe he was a victim. Or maybe we the don't need the flashlight. Using I don't know. his words. Or maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Huh. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably, actually. <laughs> well, look at these gold elevators. Yo, it's red, guys. Scary elevator. All right, we've... I've done this. I've done it. I look like I'm sitting really low. There we go. I'm tall. Haunting. Initiation three. Alice's photo equipment. Set to wow. go off when the door opens. You think you got enough softbox lights? You got six. You do not need six softbox lights. What, what, what kind of camera you got here? What? This, this puny little thing? Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! Huh. Alice. Pick photos for exhibition posters. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? But is he stalking her? Uh, okay. Are you sure? Are you sure it's not you? All right, guys, here we are. Now Bloober team is really like, damn it. I want you guys making a game just like this right now. Make Observer 2, I don't care what you have to do. Where I wrote my books. Layers of Fear 3. We're doing it right now. <laughs> You guys see this? I want this. This is video camera. No memory card inside. Okay. So look for the memory card. Got it. Uh, video art doc on screens. Molt. Focal point of the dark place. See, Alice cleans her plate. This is what I like to see. No half-eaten donut. No double cookie. Clean plate. That's right. Oh, here it is. Part one. What was Alice working on? Well, I guess we'll have to find out. Use the memory card with the video camera. Oh, okay. Look for Alice. Wow, spoilers. When I was younger, photography was everything to me. And now I don't give a shit about it. I moved to New York thinking I'd make it as an artist. And then I met Alan. We had a good thing. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then, Alan hit a block. I brought out a meaner side of him. Scratch. One I didn't like. Mr. Scratch. That's Mr. Scratch to you. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. Ooh. We argued. 
things went wrong. Penny was just gone. Oh. Drowned, allegedly. That's what the shadows keep telling me. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do, too, sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. Huh. The dark presence. Mr. Dole. He always Dole. did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment. With motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. Edgy. I'm calling this exhibit the dark place. Wait, what? Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? Wait, so this... So that's what the dark place is. It's her art manifested. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's go. room and wrote a story initiation to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out the story had brought me here brought me nowhere loop me back I was writing this story and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room but there was no one here writing Okay. Interesting. <sighs> Poor Alan. He's had such a tough life. Loops forever. Did you see that? Blooper team's like, what did we just hear? Loops forever. What a great game. What a great idea. Oh, I like that. Wait, is it going to put me in a cutscene? Of course it is. Of course, the one time, the one time I don't put my cam away. So, did you guys get all that? Did you listen to Ellen's little story? Saga's already got her Bluetooth okay. headset in. Let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. 
It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the dark presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the dark presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time... It... This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. I... Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is it's full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like it's like it's like a half-forgotten dream. <laughs> like the synchronized coffee drinking. Mr. Wake. This is such a great team. Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. It's insane. All right. And there's so much of it. Heard of the cult of the tree? No, he's heard of the cult of the word. Oh, different cult. Um, cool. We can save in here. All right. So I guess we're playing a saga again, which um, is going to be a welcome change for me. I like, I like her more direct sequences over Alan's. I, it's like I said in the last video. I really, I like the atmosphere of Alan's sections. But I think Saga sections are more my speed in terms of gameplay. Uh, we'll see if that changes as the game goes on. But yeah, this is... Uh, well, we'll end part five here. Is this part five? I don't know. I don't keep track of that. See you guys in the next video. Think critically.